Hey everybody, this is Brian. This is our fourth C++ tutorial. Um, as you can see, I just left everything right in. If you're wondering, yes, I'm recording all this in one big chunk just because I have, I think, like an hour of free time left. Um, what I wanted to cover in this tutorial were comments. I haven't really covered comments too well in previous tutorials, and I've gotten a couple comments from you viewers saying, hey, discuss comments a little more. What are comments and why do you need them? Well, if I just hand you this program, you gotta sit here and, and read, okay, he's including a preprocessor directive, he's using this namespace, he's making an integer called age, and you can guess, well, maybe he's going to get the age, and then sure enough, oh yes, down here he's get Comments are a way of commenting your program, so. Used to get the age, get the age. So you can say, used to get the age, or you can remind yourself, program starts here. Things of that nature. Uh, you should use comments. I don't really use them too much in these tutorials because, um, well, I'm very limited on time and bandwidth as far as what I can really do with these videos. So I try to really, you know, just explain everything as I go. Uh, but for your usage, you should really comment very detailed what you're going to do. For example, I mean, say hello. Uh, get the person's age. Tell them what they entered. I mean, this is really how your program should look. Wait for exit. That way, when somebody picks up the source code, or you know, you five, six years from now pick up the source code again, you can go in and instead of reading the code, you can actually just read the comments and go, okay, this is used to get the age, say hello, get the person's age, tell them what they entered. I mean, it's much easier for you to understand. Um, another thing you should realize is that in C++, you can have multi-line comments by using a slash star and star slash. Anything in here is considered a comment. You notice how it's all green? So everything in between those is a comment. So you can have multi-line comments. Well, that's very useful. Let's say you want to comment out a block of code. You can quite literally just take a huge chunk of it and do that. That way, if you're testing something and you want to temporarily take this out, you can just do that. Well, <clears throat> this is Brian. Uh, a very short and easy tutorial. I just wanted to go over comments, what they are, why you should use them. Uh, thank you for watching, and I encourage you to keep practicing with CNC. I'll get very comfortable and understand you know the preprocessor directive, the namespace, and the main function. And that's all for this tutorial. Thanks.